Okay, guys, listen up. Today I want to show you maybe the most underrated weapon stat in Call of Duty Cold War. Let's jump right into the video. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Ivan the German is back and let's start with the video today. I played a lot Call of Duty Cold War somehow they fixed the bug with the weapon gem and all that stuff i showed you in one of my first videos about coffee cold war and today i'm going to show you maybe one of the most underrated guns that in call of duty cold war because call of duty cold war isn't running that well in terms of server the tick rate is very low and the net code is quite oh my god guys i We'll show you some clips about the netcode and it's quite annoying. So as I said, netcode in combination with the low tick rate, you have to figure something out. And I tried it with the bullet velocity. In Call of Duty Cold War, you can add some bullet velocity or with some attachments, you have a negative factor on your bullet velocity. And the bullet velocity is quite interesting because in Call of Duty Cold War, bullets have a real travel time and a drop. But with the bullet velocity, you can have a smaller bullet travel time. Of course, you have a higher velocity. And with a higher velocity, um, it feels like your bullets are hitting better. Because of the netcode and the tick rate issue, you can somehow go a little bit around that. Around the problems. And I tried it with the AK. Because the AK is, in my opinion, one of the strongest guns in the current meta. You have a very low time to kill, you have a very high damage and a very low recoil. A very low recoil, especially for that output of damage. And that's why I try to put as much bullet velocity as possible into the AK with the plus 100% bullet velocity in uh, with the barrel. So I took this barrel because I tried it with the last barrel with the plus damage and all that stuff. It is also a very good barrel, I like that one, but with the bullet velocity 100% plus and with no nearly no negatives you have very very low recoil and very nice let's say a hit registration which feels pretty nice and because of the low recoil and the high damage output you can really be very effective even on longer range situations or in longer range situ situation you, your AK is performing very well. Believe me that try to play with the bullet velocity barrel and you will have a better feeling in my opinion. I wouldn't it recommend with every gun because like if you're playing with suppressors you can um, play the suppressor and the damage barrel on the AK. It works because the AK has such a high damage and such a high effective, effective range. But let's say with other weapon maybe you try you should try the effective range and bullet velocity barrel which you can get on the most weapons around level 35 to 40 depends on the weapon you play but if you feel like your weapon has a highly effective range and not that much recoil maybe like the m4 the qbz and the creek all of that stuff maybe could work with the higher bullet velocity even with the aksu i'm going to try to play the 100 bullet velocity because in my opinion i would say the aksu has a nice effective range not that much recoil and a good damage output for an smg um, maybe you can try it with the ksp2 and with the all of the um, three round burst guns maybe that could be a good opportunity or the tactical rifle uh, with the semi-automatic rifle as i said try to play with full velocity and let me give your feedback into the comments below i like it with the especially with the ak i would say with this setup i can gold camo this gun pretty fast i'm let's say some long shots 10 long shots away in my opinion it was a bug because i thought i had those long shots already and i know i need these behind cover kills and if i finish that i got my gold camo for the ak but about ak that will be a topic for another video how i use the ak 47 in this game in this call of you cold war if you like what you see subscribe to this channel and let's jump right to the next video